I have to say I voted Conservative today. Um, for, for me, it's the only option at the moment because uh, I don't think this country under Labour would be, uh, well, under Jeremy Corbyn would be a particularly good place. Um, so I don't feel that the options are great at the moment for, for us in the UK, but, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. What do you think about Jeremy Corbyn? Um, I don't think he'd be a particularly good leader of this country. He's uh, had some pretty extremist views in the past, um, and he, uh, I, I just don't think he's a particularly good leader. And also Tim Farron? Uh, I wish that Tim Farron was a little bit more vocal, um, because at the moment it seems like a good time for the Liberal Democrat Party, because the Conservative Party under Theresa May is not particularly strong. Um, they've called an election at a, at a bad time in, in hindsight, actually. Um, and, and the Labour Party and Jeremy Corbyn, when you have all of his MPs not believing in him, then it doesn't, you know, uh, set up the country for a particularly good position. Um, so uh, I wish that Tim Farron was, you know, a stronger leader at this time, really. But well, I think that clearly after the elections were convened, the, the polls have shown how both parties are, are getting closer. I think that because of how the system is organized, it is very difficult for Corbyn to win the elections. I expect that Theresa May will still win and probably with a, with a wealthy, um, with a healthy uh, majority. But what we have seen is that the country is very divided. It was very divided already in relation to Brexit. Now it is even more divided in relation to much more traditional um, political issues. The, the Conservatives have gone way to the right. They have now all the UKIP votes supporting them. The left has gone very much to the left. They are defending things like the nationalization of energy and all transport and, and the mail systems. And, and what we have seen now is that no matter who wins, the party will continue being divided. And that is a big problem when they are facing one of the most complicated negotiations in history, really.